last time we had given this definition of a bicubic surface patch and we said that if we take two parameters u and v then any point on this surface patch <coughs> can be given by this uh, double summation where i varies from 0 to 3 and j also varies from 0 to 3 okay and <coughs> this summation can be expanded out in this form that is a 3 3 u cube v cube so on basically a i j into u to the power i v to the power j and this again we can write it in a matrix form where u is the power vector for u and v is the power vector for v for, for the parameter v. Okay, so this is the definition of a bicubic surface patch. Now, if you take this definition, we are trying to define a surface patch which is, let's say, something like this. In this surface patch, if you put, let's say, u equal to zero, <coughs> that is, in this definition, if you put u equal to zero, we'll get this last row of terms. Okay. And this uh, we can write as P of 0 V, okay, so u is equal to 0 in this case, so P of 0 V will be equal to A 0 3 multiplied by V cube plus A 0 2 multiplied by V squared plus A 0 1 multiplied by V plus A 0 0. Okay, this is for u equal to 0, that is I have written it as p of 0 v okay. and this is the equation of a PC curve and let us say if we consider this to be the u equal to 0 line, this means that for a bicubic surface patch, this, bound, uh, this bounding curve will be a cubic curve or a PC curve. Okay. Similarly, if I consider p of u 0 that means I put v equal to 0 now in that case I will get a 3 0 u cube plus a 2 0 u square plus a 1 0 u plus a 0 0 okay, and this will be the v equal to 0 curve which is this curve. Okay, that means these two bounding curves will be cubic curves. Okay. Similarly, I can also write down the equation for these bounding curves okay, by putting this is v equal to 1 and u equal to 1. Okay. So, if I put let us say u equal to 1 in this expression none of the terms will vanish but it is the, the powers of u will all become 1. So, my coefficient for v cube will be a sum of these 4. Okay. So, what we will get will be p of I am putting u equal to 1. So, 1 v will be equal to a 0 3 plus a 1 3 plus a 2 3 plus a 3 3 multiplied by v cube that is sum of these four terms and so on. Okay, similarly sum of these four terms will give us the coefficient of v square, sum of these four terms will give us the coefficient of v and sum of these four terms will give us the constant term. Okay, so, this we can continue that way and I can similarly write p of uh, u 1 by putting uh, v equal to 1. Okay, that will also be a PC curve in that manner. So, so, what that essentially means is that these four bounding curves will be PC curves or parametric cubic curves. Okay. Now, I can write these four curves using a standard geometric uh, form. So, if we do that, we can write them as P of 0 V. <coughs> that will be equal to let us say f times p 0 0, p 0 1, p 0 0 v and p 0 1 of 
V transpose. Uh, v is the varying parameter. Okay, so I've put u equal to zero right now. This is the u, uh, u equal to zero curve. I'm considering starting point of this curve and the end point of this curve. In terms of u and v, this this starting point is zero zero. This point is the point zero one, and similarly we'll use it later on. This way is one zero, and this is one one. This in terms of the uh, parameter u and v. Okay. So this point is p zero zero. This point is p zero one. If I consider a tangent in this direction, okay, that is a tangent in the v direction. That is the tangent in the v direction at zero zero. And similarly, this tangent is a tangent in the v direction at zero one. Okay. So this p c curve, this one, we can write that in a Geometric form in this manner. Okay. Similarly, the other PC curve, that is P of u zero. Again, we can write down in a geometric form as f, and for this, the input will be P zero zero, P one zero, P zero zero at u, I mean P u at zero zero, and P u at one zero. Okay. Similarly, the other two curves, that is these two curves, I can write them also in a parametric, in a standard geometric form, and we can say P one V. This is a curve for u equal to one. So that is this curve. The starting point is P one zero. Okay. So we'll say F into P one zero. Ending point is p one one, and the tangent is in the direction of u. In the direction of v, sorry, p v at one zero, and this will be p v at one one. Okay. And the last. Curve that will be u one. That will be that will be defined using p zero one, p one one, p zero one, p u at zero one, and p u at one one. Okay. So these are the four equations of the bounding curves of this surface patch. If I consider this surface patch, the bounding curves one, two, three, and four. For these four bounding curves, we can write down the equations in a standard geometric form like this. <coughs> okay. Now, if you look up the definition of the surface patch. This definition, this has got sixteen variables from a three three to a zero zero. Okay, sixteen vector variables. That means a total of forty eight parameters in this uh, in this formulation. Okay, or sixteen vector parameters. And if I look at these four equations, they got sixteen geometric inputs. Okay, so. If you consider these four curves for, for inputting this surface patch, if somebody inputs these four curves, one might expect that that would be sufficient to input the surface patch, but it is not. Okay, because these four curves are including only twelve parameters; they are not sixteen different parameters. P zero zero and P zero zero are common, and similarly, P one one, P one one are common, P zero one, P zero one are common, and so on. So these four curves are defining only twelve distinct parameters. Okay, they are twelve because we have four corner points, and at each point we have got two tangent vectors. Let's say one in this direction, the other in this direction. 
Okay, so far we are using only 12 parameters. So for inputting a surface path geometrically, we will need at least 4 more uh, geometric vectors to be input. Okay, so 2, 4, 8, 10, sorry 2, 4, 6 and 8 and plus 4 corner points. These 12 are not sufficient to input the surface patch. Okay. So, what we will do is in addition to these, in addition to the vectors we are using in this formulation, these vectors, we will define 4 more vectors okay. and those vectors will be the second derivatives okay, which are defined as Okay, P is a function of u and v. Okay, so, these second derivatives, these are called twist vectors. Okay, and they basically tell us that if we consider any point on this surface, okay, let us say for the sake of argument, let us start with this point. Okay, a second derivative at this point will tell us how the uh, slope in one direction changes as we move in the second direction. Okay, for example, at, let me draw. Okay, this is a point zero zero. At this point, my tangent is in this direction. This is the PU tangent at zero zero. As I move further to this point, my tangent vector may be it changes its magnitude like this. As I move further, its value may be changes further. Okay, and let us say at the last point here, at this point, maybe the tangent vector is like this. Okay, so, so the tangent vector is maybe taking a shape like this as I move along this curve. Okay. So, this is a variation in the tangent vector as I move along the other direction. The tangent vector in the u direction, how that changes as I move in the v direction. Okay, and that rate of change at this point is a twist vector at this point. Okay, so, if I say P u v at 0 0, that tells me the magnitude of this second derivative at this point 0 0. Okay, and that gives an idea of how the uh, how the tangent in the u direction will change as we move in the v direction, or how the tangent in the v direction will change as we move in the u direction. Okay. Okay, and we will soon write, a, write an equation for the variation of this tangent vector in the, in the other direction. Okay. So, but this twist vector gives us the magnitude of the variation at a particular point. Okay, so, now for defining this uh, bicubic surface patch, in addition to these 12 inputs, we will take 4 more inputs which are the twist vectors at the four corner points. Okay, so that means PUV at 0, 0 will have PUV at 0, 1, PUV at 1, 0, and PUV at 1, 1. So these four twist vectors will give us the four additional inputs that we need to define this uh, surface patch geometrically. Okay, so if you consider these twist vectors, we will write down the equation for this variation in the slope and I will again redraw the, that part of the figure.
Okay, if we consider uh, this variation in the tangent vector, that is a, ta is a tangent vector in the u direction as we move in the along the vector p zero v. Okay, this is okay. This is a tangent vector in the u direction. So my u, I have taken my u to be varying in this direction. Okay, which means that this is my curve u equal to zero. Okay, and my u is varying in this direction. So this is my tangent vector p u at zero zero, and this is my tangent vector which is p u at zero one. Okay, so if I write down the expression for p u at zero v, okay, that will be let's say f times p u at zero zero, p u at zero one, then p u v at zero zero, and p u v at zero one. Okay, so p u at zero v. That means the u direction tangent vector at any point on this curve can be given by this formulation, where f is again the set of blending functions we were using for a cubic surface for a cubic surf curve. Sorry, for a PC curve. Okay, and p u at zero zero is this tangent vector. p u at zero one is this tangent vector. This is a twist vector at this point. And this is a twist vector at this point. Okay, and this formulation is similar in nature to the formulation of a PC curve, except that instead of the endpoints, we now have the tangent vectors. Okay, and this is referred to as an auxiliary curve. Okay, my original curve was p zero v. That is this curve, the u equal to zero curve. An auxiliary curve is a curve which is which gives us the variation of the tangent vector in the other direction along that curve. Okay, so this auxiliary curve is giving us a variation in the u direction tangent vector as we move along the u equal to zero curve. Okay. Similarly, we can we can have an auxiliary curve for at this end, an auxiliary curve at this end, and an auxiliary curve at this curve. Okay. And an auxiliary curve at any curve will give us the tangent vector or the variation in the tangent vector in the other direction. Okay. We'll just use this the concept of this auxiliary curve to get uh, the standard geometric form for a Surface patch. Okay, so this is how we are defining an auxiliary curve to the u equal to zero curve. Okay, now okay, <coughs> if you write down an expression for P i zero. Okay, basically I have put u equal to i. Okay, this will be obtained from the okay from this curve by putting u equal to i. So this will give us f one at u i. Multiplied by p zero zero plus f two at u i multiplied by p one zero plus f three at u i multiplied by p u at zero zero plus f four at u i 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पी जू एट वन जीरो फ्रॉम दिस पी जीरो जीरो पी वन जीरो पी जू एट जीरो जीरो एंड पी जू एट वन जीरो फोर टर्म है पुट ओवर है ओके अगेन दिस इज हमाइट पॉल नॉम ओके इनफैक्ट आई वेंट यूज द टर्म्स ऑफ अ हमाइट पॉल नॉमल इज बेसिकली स्टैंडर्ड जोमेट्रिक फॉर्म ऑफ ए पीसी कर ओके सो दिस इज अ पी आई जीरो वॉट आई एम बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू डू नाउ दैट इफ आई कंसिडर अ सर्फेस पैच लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज आई एम कंसिडर वी कोल्ड जीरो कर दैट मीन्स आई एम कंसिडरिंग एनी पॉइंट ओवर है ओके नाउ इफ आई कंसिडर कर्व है I want to write down the equation of any arbitrary curve on this surface patch. Okay, this is a curve given by u equal to u i. If I want to write down the equation of this curve, what I need is the starting point here. I need the end point over here. Okay, I'll need the tangent vector here. Plus, I'll need the tangent vector here. <coughs> so I'll try to write down expressions for each of these four vectors. Okay, so that I'll get the equation for any arbitrary PC curve given by u equal to u i. Okay, once I have the equation of this arbitrary PC curve, I'll try to find the location of any of any arbitrary point here in terms of the geometric input that we have given. Okay, because all these All, all the expressions are being taken in terms of the geometric input p00 p10 pu00 and pu10 these are the geometric input that we have given so in terms of this input i'll try to write down the expressions for this point for this point for this tangent vector and for this tangent vector okay and once i have expressions for these four i can write down an expression for this pc curve Okay, so let's just see how we do that. We have an expression for p i zero. P i zero is this point. Okay, this point is p i one. Okay, this point is p i one. So let's And this curve will be P V at i zero, and this tan this tangent will be P V sorry P V at i one. Okay, so let's now write an expression for P i one. Okay, so. P i one that I can obtain from this equation. This will give me an expression for P i one. Okay, I'll put u equal to u i in this. Okay, so that I'll get as f one of u i multiplied by P zero one plus f two of u i. Multiplied by p11 plus f3 of ui multiplied by p u at 01 plus f4 of ui multiplied by p u at 11. This will give me p i0 and p i1. Okay. Now the next. Vector that I want is P V at i zero. Okay, so P V at i zero. For writing down the expression for P V at i zero, I'll consider the auxiliary curve corresponding to this curve. Okay, which will be the curve that will be P V of 
u0 okay and let's first write down an expression for this auxiliary curve p pv of u0 that will be defined as f multiplied by i want the tangent vector here in this direction okay in this direction so that will be pv at 0 0 the tangent vector at this point which will be pv at 1 0 the twist vector here and the twist vector here okay so that will be puv at 0 0 and puv at 1 0 this is auxiliary curve corresponding to this curve and similarly the equation of the auxiliary curve corresponding to this curve can be written and that will be p u 1 v the first term here will correspond to this vector which will be p v at p v at 0 1 p v at 1 1 p u v at 0 1 and p u v at 1 1. Okay. So now if I take this expression and in order to get this term P V at I0, I put u equal to u i in this. Okay, so this term or this expression will give us F1 at U i of P V at 0 0 plus F 2 at U i of P V at 1 0 plus F 3 U i of P U V at 0 0 plus F 4 U i P U V at 1 0. This is what I am getting from this expression. Okay, and for the last term, what I want is an expression for P V at I1 that I will obtain from this auxiliary curve, and that will be equal to let us say F1 times P V at 0 0, sorry 0 1 plus f 2 times p v at 1 1 plus f 3 times p u v at 0 1 plus f 4 times p u v at 1 1. Okay, this is what I will get from this auxiliary curve. Okay. So now we have got these four expressions for the starting point, end point, starting tangent vector and the ending tangent vector for this PC curve. Okay. So once I have these four vectors, I can write down the equation for this PC curve and the equation for that PC curve will be given by p equal to f b okay which i can write that as in this as i move along this curve my v is a varying vector okay so the equation for this curve will be v m b okay because my variable parameter will be v and not u Okay, so the equation for that curve will be p equal to v m b or if I use uh, the terms that are given okay, this b vector will consist of these four expressions. 
okay. So, this I can expand that out and what I will get will be V m okay. <coughs> the first term is P i 0, the second term will be P i 1, third term will be P v at i 0, and the fourth term will be P v at i 1. Okay, and each of these four expressions would be used in this thing now. Okay. Now, if I consider P i 0, now P i 0 is nothing but f multiplied by P 0 0, P 1 0, P u 0 0 and P u 1 0. Okay. So, in order to get this one term, I will take f multiplied by these four terms. Now, this f is nothing but u m multiplied by these four terms. Okay. So, I will write this whole thing as V m multiplied by a matrix here which I will just explain what that matrix will be m transpose multiplied by u transpose. Okay. And this matrix will consist of the 16 terms we will get from these 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, these terms we will put them over here and what we will get will be P 0 0, P 1 0, P u at 0 0 and P u at 1 0. The second row will be P 0 1, P 1 1, this will be P u at 0 1 and P u at 1 1 and there will be another 2 rows, I will just complete that in the next page. Okay. So, this whole expression I can write down in a matrix form like this and these 16 terms are the geometric input that we are given for this surface patch. Okay. I can uh, this matrix I will say P is equal to V M B M transpose U transpose okay, where B is P 0 0, P 1 0, P 0 0 U, P 1 0 U, P 0 1, P 1 1, P 0 1 u p 1 1 u here I will get p 0 0 v p 1 1 sorry p 1 0 v p 0 1 v p 1 1 v and similarly p 0 0 p 1 0 p 0 1 p 1 1 this will be u v U V U V <coughs> Okay, the sixteen inputs that we are giving will come in this form. <coughs> okay, P zero zero, P one zero, zero one one one, zero zero one zero, zero one one one. This pattern of four will be the same throughout these four terms are the tangent vector in the u direction, these four are the tangent vector in the v direction and these four are the twist vectors and these four are the geometric inputs, I mean the location inputs. Okay, so, this is how we can define the geometric matrix for the in for inputting a bicubic surface patch. Okay. If you look at this matrix, in this matrix, if we consider the first, <coughs> these four terms, okay, 0, 0, 1, 0, P u at 0, 0 and P u at 1, 0. These four terms together will define the V equal to 0, 
bonding curve. The V equal to 0 curve, this curve, this is being input by P00, P10, the tangent vector in this direction which is PU at 0, 0 and the tangent vector in this direction which is PU at 1, 0. These four are these four inputs. Okay. If I consider that this next four, I will get the V equal to 1 curve. Okay, P01, P11, PU at 01 and PU at 11. These are inputs required for this curve. Okay, similarly, if I consider this column, this is the input required for the U equal to 0 curve. This is the input required for U equal to 1 curve. Okay. So, the four bounding curves can be read off directly from this B matrix or this input matrix. No. If you remember for uh, P C curves, we mentioned P is equal to F B, which is the same as U M B. Okay, f vector is a set of four blending functions. Now, f can be written as u times m. Okay, so m is the matrix of coefficients. U is the power vector. Okay, u is u cube, u square, u one. M is a set of coefficients. So, multiply this row by this first column, I'll get my first blending function. This row by the second column, I'll get my second blending function, and so on. So, this matrix M is the same matrix as what we were using for PC curves. Okay. It is uh, even the coefficients will be the same, but this matrix B is not the same as what we are using here. Okay. Here, this is a 4 by 4 matrix, while for the case of a PC curve, it is just consisting of 4 vectors. The input required for a PC curve is only 4 geometric vectors. Okay. So, the B matrix for the PC curve. Consisted of P0, P1, T0, and T1. These are the four vectors required for the B curve for, for the B matrix. Well, here for the B matrix, we need these 16 vectors. Okay, but this M and M transpose they are obtained from the same M matrix. Same matrix. Matrix of coefficients. Okay. Now, if you look at this column. PU at 0, 0, PU at 0, 1, PUV at 0, 0, and PUV at 0, 1. These four terms they will give us an auxiliary curve, okay, and that auxiliary curve will correspond to the U equal to 0 auxiliary curve, okay. Similarly, this column will give us the U equal to 1 auxiliary curve, U equal to 0 auxiliary curve is essentially the curve, the auxiliary curve corresponding to u equal to 0. That means the variation of the tangent vector along this curve, that means something like this. This auxiliary curve is given by this column. This column gives us the auxiliary curve at u equal to 1. Okay, similarly, the auxiliary curves at v equal to 0 and v equal to 1 can be read off from here, v equal to 0 and this is v equal to 1. Okay. Okay, in fact, this matrix we can either write it like this or we can write it as u m B M transpose V transpose. Okay, sometimes in the book you will find 
it written in this sequence. The only difference is whether you the direction of parameterization which you are considering is the u direction and which is the v direction. Whether you consider this to be the b matrix or you consider the transpose of this to be the b matrix that does not make a difference. <coughs> okay. And if you compare this with the definition of the bicubic surface patch where we said this is equal to let us say u a v transpose. Okay, so P is equal to U A V transpose. So we'll say A will be equal to M B M transpose. Okay, so if we know the B matrix, we can find out the set of algebraic coefficients by looking at or by evaluating M B M transpose. Okay. Any question up to this point? <coughs> okay, so for defining a bicubic surface patch, we have seen that we needed 16 vectors. Okay, that means a to total of 16 into 3, 48 inputs were given to specify a bicubic surface patch uniquely. <coughs> Okay, if you do not specify let us say the twist vectors, okay, we will not get a unique uh, surface patch. Okay, and a standard uh, input for a bicubic surface patch can be given using this matrix. Okay, and these four twist vectors in some sense will be controlling the curvature at the four corners. Okay, that means let us say if I take a very simple case, I consider a simple rectangular surface patch. Okay, and if I just control, I, if I just change the twist vectors, I can get surfaces with varying curvatures at the corner. If my twist vector is zero at all the four locations. I will get a flat plane surface. Okay, but if I change my twist vectors, I will get a different bulge or a different shape of the surface in between. Okay, so these four curves are controlling the boundary, while the four twist vectors are controlling the bulge or the curvature in the rest of the region. Okay, in fact. If we consider these four twist vectors to be equal to zero, okay. If we put each of these four vector, twist vectors equal to zero, again, what's that? You will get, get plane surface only when the four bonding surfaces, four bonding curves are planar. Okay, if the four bonding uh, curves are not planar, then you won't get a plane surface. Okay, if you have a general cubic curve here, general cubic curve here, a general curve here, and a general curve here then you will still get a three dimensional surface, okay, but your uh, twist vector will be 0 and that kind of surface is called a Ferguson patch. Ferguson patch or an F patch, if the four twist vectors are put equal to 0, okay, each of these four terms are put as 0. then you get a Ferguson patch. Okay. Any question on this geometric form of a <coughs> bicubic surface patch? Okay, in that case I will uh, wind up now. In the next class we will see some other formulations for the surfaces and then we will go on to some other types of uh, surfaces in uh, this case. Okay, and that is all for today.